School has become such a default option that deciding to not do school, you have to have like an insane justification. You have to justify mm -hmm. yes. it to your friends, families, your fucking uh, Twitter community group chat, your Discord servers you're involved in, and of course your fucking parents and your siblings. Like you have to justify it to everybody. I can go to school for psychology. No one's going to ask twice. Why? I feel like you should really explain to me what the fuck you're gonna do with that degree. No dead ass though. There's so many pointless degrees. Your art degree is not taking you nowhere. Nah, it's no just the fact that it's a deep performing art degree. All like I went to a performing art school, so I know firsthand. A lot of these shits, bro. If you ain't, I hate to be that nigga, bro. But if you ain't going to be a doctor, lawyer, or or you feel me, some immediate shit, bro, just do a trade or do. I don't know, do an internship or something like that, bro. Like, I mean, college, I feel like it's mainly ba based on, I keep saying it's based on connections, bro. Who you meet. It's not, it's, sometimes it's not what you know, it's who you know, bro. That's real. That's really how the world works, man. And yeah, in college, you can meet some of those people that put you in those positions, but at what cost? You got to figure, you got to tax in at what cost, bro. College ain't cheap. You studying aboard or you, you staying on campus, that shit ain't cheap. Even just going there alone ain't cheap, brother. The classes, the books. <laughs> Transportation, food, etc., etc., bro. Shit is not cheap. Default. It shouldn't be the default. It is an option. It should be an option. Usually it's you a default. Can't pass the bar to become a lawyer without post secondary education. That's another thing. I, 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 I hate this part of the argument where a dumbass nigga gonna be like, oh, well, what if he's a lawyer? Like, of course, the niggas who are lawyers and doctors, of course. Those We're are, not those talking are really about the niggas, though, bro. You have an art degree, buddy. Yeah, you're, the, you're not even yeah, there. Yeah, the, the nigga who has an art degree, the nigga who's going for film, business the nigga who's going for business. Those niggas, y'all really do some different. Dig deep and dog, do some soul searching. I took and an ask entrepreneurship. Yourself, what are you doing, nigga? I took an entrepreneurship class in my third year, and I had to sit there and really, really think to myself, what the fuck? Why is this? Why is this institution teaching me how to work on my own? That's definitely something you learn by working on your own. It was mind blowing that a, he, like I was being taught a curriculum on how to work by myself and how to build shit by myself, and it wasn't even useful lessons. That's the other thing I, I I couldn't I couldn't stay in college, bro. I was in college. I ain't graduating. I knew for a fact eighty five percent of this shit I'm being I'm being taught will Dude, never forget. use for the rest of Look my life, bro. Life, bro. That's Not high school. Never a day in my life, nigga. I ain't never used. Pythagorean theorem, nigga. You don't, you don't know the, the fuck? Piece of marketing? I don't give a fuck about that, nigga. Oh, man, you gotta That's why you hire an accountant for that shit, nigga. You don't nigga. know the four P's of pricing? Oh, who oh, gives a fuck, Come on, bro. man. Come on. How no you gonna price your products? Not. Everything about science that I learned, nothing. I don't I don't even know what... The periodic table is pointless in my life right now, bro. I'm telling you right now. Instead of most people thinking to themselves, like, maybe I could learn a trade that can't be replicated. Like, maybe I could be a plumber. You know, a whole bunch of dumb niggas being writers. Open AI is already gonna take your job in five years because you don't know how to look ahead. But now you're fucking 100k in debt and you're fucking voting for Biden on the 5% chance he actually does what he said he was gonna do and helps you out with your student loans. Nigga's not gonna do it. He doesn't give a fuck. He just got your vote. I feel like the the, the <laughs> fact that student we're sitting crazy. Here asking for politicians to bail us out of these incredible student loan debts and it's a whole bunch of niggas that didn't even use their degrees is an issue. But for some reason, it's still the default. How is it still the default yeah. even though it's not working for most you know people? Why? You know why? Why is the default? I'm not gonna do too much of this video because I already know what it's about, bro. And I've had this conversation plenty of times. I'm kind of sick of it. You know why it's the default? Because our predecessors, our parents, and their parents is is in like back then it was that was what it was what it was. Now today's climate is is changing. It's so much different now to where college. I'm not shitting on its college degree. College degree can get you very far, but the notion that all of these different degrees can put you in these different places and all that. And nobody bats the eye to actually realize or sit down and like, okay, like, what do I really want to go to school for? What do I really want to do? Do I really need a degree? Do I really need to go this route? And and it's no really real guidance in that stance of but all the teachers. Like, for example, all the teachers from high school, they all pushing you to go to college. Nobody is saying go do a trade. It's rarely people saying go do a trade or take a year off, figure out. Nobody is saying that they're saying, oh. It's your junior. It's, it's what is your sophomore junior year? Yeah, let's start. Let's start building up your um your resume for colleges and and and, and putting you in these programs and 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 and, and letting you um uh build your shit up so that when you, when the college when it's time to apply for college and shit they kind of accept you. It's going charity work and you know what I'm saying, which which is fine. You feel me? Because those things kind of may lead you to figure out who you are and what you want to really do in, in your life, but. 
just forcefully just explain it. I get it though, because it's school. So from 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 one like school to another, like why wouldn't like teachers are thinking like, yeah, like I'd rather them be in college because when you have a lot of free time, bro. I'm rambling. But when you have a lot of free time, you you can get into a lot of bullshit. Like people after high school got into a lot of bullshit. People like during high school got into bullshit because they had free time. I'm not saying take away the free time, but when you give somebody who doesn't know what to do with themselves too much free time, they, they tend to go towards the bullshit because the friends that are doing the positive shit or a different shit are somewhere else doing the shit. They're not, they're not in the everyday still, you know what I'm saying? Like it's, they, they, you begin to separate people, people go off to college, people go off to trades, people move, people, uh, start doing like music, YouTube, uh, rap. Acting like you know what I'm saying, people start trying to find out stripping, nursing, people start trying to find their own lanes, and then you look around and you sometimes just be like, damn, I feel like I'm not accomplished or I'm not doing anything. You then go, All right, I gotta get this money, like, and then boom, now you're in the streets. Now from the streets, now you start getting into trouble, now for trouble, you get it, then it just becomes the rabbit hole of bullshit to do. So that's why they kind of just be like, I feel like it's kind of a safety net kind of thing was like I know if you're in college, you're probably not going to be doing no bullshit. Also, I know that at least at the very least, you're going to be getting the education to, f- to further your growth. And in th- and at that time from like 16 or uh, from like 17 to like 20, 21 is going to be a very detriment point of your life because that's when you start figuring out and even either further after that. But that's those are the kind of years where you start figuring out which route you kind of want to go and like who, what kind of person you are. So that's why they send them over there. You meet a whole different bunch of people from college all around the world. But realistically, bro, you don't really need the shit, man. Just you just gotta do some soul searching within yourself, man, and and going through life experiences. That's really it, bro. That's that's really what the shit is after high school, bro. You just gotta really you don't know yourself, but you don't. You probably nine times out of ten you may think, but not really. More than likely, you don't really know yourself. You just gotta do some deep searching and deep diving into who you really are. The lucky people are the ones that went to school not knowing what they wanted to do and in one semester on one year dropped out and that's actually half of people bro my program got cut in half in the second year first half either dropped out or failed they couldn't make it boom they was out of there but those people actually were lucky in that like if it's a horrible thing to find out three and a half years in 50k in debt and ads on youtube must be so annoying but with three clicks, you can install an ad blocker, yo, and you'll YouTube, never see ads again. Stop listening to what I'm saying. That right. This is not what you want to do. And I know Facts. a lot of people that in their second year and third year, they transitioned to gen ed and just took a whole bunch of the generic courses until they could figure out they wanted six years into school. And it's like, yo, you were wasting time. You were wasting Money. bread. And like, more importantly, you look dumb. And I feel like the only excuse, I, I always say this, the only reasoning to go into school and not knowing what you want out of it is if you either have scholarships that pay for the whole thing, or your parents is rich as fuck. Or, so, or you genuinely just don't know what you want to do in life. No, that's no. If you don't know, figure it out before you go to school. I said you I don't agree. have to rush to go to school. You could take you a year, two years. Oh yeah, you, you take a year off. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you definitely. You def- yeah, that's another thing. You definitely can, bro. It's no rush, bro. School is a tool, my nigga. That shit will never. College will never go nowhere. Paying for it may may differ, but like as far as going anywhere, that shit ain't going nowhere, bro. <laughs> that shit is a multi-billion dollar scam. <laughs> Why would it go somewhere? You feel me? Come on, man. Yeah, yes, you don't have to rush. Prime this example, business management classes and all these business classes in college, but most of these fucking professors don't even own their own business, let alone own a multi-million dollar or whatever you're trying to go for. Bro, they just teach you some of the skills that they, that other companies may follow, some shit like that. Man, these people, most of the billionaires and millionaires, some of them didn't even touch school. <laughs> Come on, man. Stay woke, brother. The answer is in front this is, of you. Right, this is right, me being, this is serious. This is me being serious now. No more trolls. My my problem with school, like you, like Asian said, it shouldn't be the default. It shouldn't be the default option. The other problem I have with schooling in general uh-huh. is that how quickly so many things are changing in our life right now, where a lot of that shit y'all learning will be irrelevant a yeah, few years myself. after you graduate, bro. Yeah. I can, like, and I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep prime example. Let's say, let's say I get hired at a, uh, uh, I get a, I get an offering job, IT job for like a hundred K a year. All that shit I learned in school. Guess what? It's going to go out the window. You may, you may, you may retract or you may keep some of that information, but this job that's paying me a hundred thousand dollars a year. Guess what? They're going to train me on everything I need to know. <laughs> I'm a firm believer. And even though son, even though that 
It's a little different. He was he was a politician and he lied on his uh, resume. I'm a firm believer it's not illegal to lie on your resume. But when you go and doing certain shit, be very careful. But I'm a firm believer. I'm going to say it here first. I don't give a fuck. Lie on that resume. You know why? Because that job is going to teach you everything you need to know anyway. Just make sure that if you went to college or you went to school, you know, like the general about the about where you're going and what you're probably going to do, you're going to be fine. Lie on that resume, bro. I promise you. I promise you lie on that resume. You know why? You're going to get the job. They're going to train you. They're going to train you. Every job you've ever went to, with they don't ever, even if you have a college degree, they don't ever just just, just throw you there and just be like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He know what he's doing. No, nigga, they train you on the system. They train you how to do this, that, and that, and that. If they're not there, decide to do this, decide to access this. Oh, um, this is the backup of this. Ah, uh, niggas, niggas that went to college and they graduated and they got a nice job. Guess what? They've been training for like months after they got the job. After they declare like, oh yeah, this is gonna be my job. I wanna go. They train them for like a first three months on all. So they had to relearn all of this shit after they drop out of after they got out of school. Some of the places. Get this. Some of the places don't even ask you for your degree. Hmm. Interesting. Come on, man. I'm t- Come on, man. Stay woke. Stay woke, brothers and sisters. Just saying. Oh, I'm just saying. I don't know. I would. <laughs> Date myself here for a second. But when I was in school, when I was like growing up in school, like when I was like a, a young, young, like a teeny bopper in elementary school, right? But we were getting taught like how to use floppy disks. Yo, they taught us advocates and cursive. I like all like all that. Cursive is a good one. I'm going to end it on that one because yeah, I'm going to end it on that one. I, I feel like I said enough. This video is about to be shit. Fuck with me. This shit be 40 minutes. <laughs> um, Yeah, man. Listen, just, just figure out what y'all want to do, man. Uh, write some shit down. Try a whole bunch of different things. Uh, talk to some people. Uh, you got the yo. I'm t- I, the internet. People get on the internet about it being bad, bro. It, it's some great shit on the internet, bro. You just gotta everything you really want to know or really want to learn is on here on this bitch. You just gotta know how to research and look up or find what you want to really want to look up or really want what you're really looking for, bro. So figure it out, man. Before you go to school and you're a hundred k or whatever came that because. Bro, that that it adds on interest, and you gotta pay. You have to pay that off. You feel me? Or they're gonna start garnishing your checks. So it's like, bro. I hate to be the serious kind of guy. You feel me? Should be funny and all that. Ah, but for the youth, my like, really, really figure out what y'all want to do. I'm not just saying just go be a rapper, but if you want to do something, look it up, talk to people, uh, uh, uh do your do very extinguished research. You know what I'm saying? Like, word.